Hello and welcome to another Stellaris modding video. This time I'm doing a, a video on how to properly package your mods and how to upload them to the Steam Workshop to share with people. And this is also this is very important for uh, how to do your mods properly. In the other videos that I've done so far, I've edited the files themselves from the game files, but you should actually package them into proper mods instead and not just edit them. And uh, let's get going. I'll show you how to do the whole thing from scratch. We'll be using the uh, custom start uh, system uh, that I did in the custom start system video. So the children of the ancient uh, ring world start will be the mode we are doing this time. So let me firstly throw this in here. So this is the Stellaris launcher that you are all familiar with. So you want to go into the mods here and then go to the mod tools for starters, and create a mod is what we want. And then there is a full name of your mod, so we're gonna call this uh, Children of the Inch Ancient, and directory will be Children Ancient. Supported version will be the current version of course, and you can go edit this if needed. And uh, then there are some more tags which you can use for it. You can also do custom ones, if you want. What do we call... which one would this be? Uh, galaxy Generation, I guess. Spaceship Species Technological Conversion. We'll just call it, uh, I guess, gal Galaxy Generation, because it generates your starting location. And then just cl click this uh, Create Mode here. And all this, it successfully created a mod file in your uh, user Bellaner which me, Documents Paradox Interactive Stellaris mod, Children of the Engines mod. And this is where we go next. So you want to remember this directory. Let me pull this. Can I pull this? Okay, I'm gonna close now. And let's move that out of the way. And then we just uh, open a, a file browser here. And let me throw it in here. So here we go. And uh, it's this. Uh, <laughs> it's in Finnish, but don't don't worry about that. That's a uh, documents paradox in directive Stellaric mods, and here is the children of the ancients uh, directory I just made, and uh, the children of the ancients uh, uh, dot mod file. I'm just gonna open it in a text pad here. Boom, and here name children of the ancients path, galaxy generation tag, and then uh, supported versions. So if you need to change your uh, supported version, you can just open this file, uh, change this number, and re-upload the, the mod in the Steam Workshop. I'll show you how to do the re-uploading as well, if you need to update your mod. It's not that simple. Well, it's simple, but there's a couple tricks to it. So, okay, we got this file done and done. Next thing you want to do is you copy this file, so just a uh, copy, and uh, go into the directory, Children of the Engines, or whatever you call your mod, uh, mod folder. Go into the mod folder and paste the, that file in there. And you need to change this mod uh, to descriptor same file but just descriptor.mod and now we have a descriptor there I did the same uh, for the other one here there is a descriptor mod in there as well and uh, then we come to the tricky part to actually make the mod so when you make a mod you usually alter certain files uh, in the case of this we had to change the starting location and a localization file to descript give a description for the file. And uh, the file path and the directory path in this uh, mod folder here should uh, correspond uh, to the one inside uh, the Stellaris uh, directory. And I know that uh, the solar system initializer is very common, so I'm gonna create a common in here, and I know the localization files are in localization. Localization. There. So now we have these two in here, and let's go jump in here, this is the Steam library here for me, so common, uh, all the games I've uh, currently installed, so I've got Stellaris, so here's the common, and we found out that there's solar system initializer, so I'm just gonna copy this whole thing from here, so I don't uh, mistype it, and then we just click back into here, back to common, paste, and boom, and here's uh, all the Normal initializers, I'm just gonna delete these because we just copied them from the 
correct, correct spot. So now we have uh, our files done. Next thing I want to do is uh, get the files that I need to alter. Uh, so localization, and I'm going to create the other files myself. So back to here, in the sorry, common Stellaris localization, and I'm going to grab a L English. Just copy that, and then back to the localization. Paste there, and there we go. And I'm going to open this in uh, Notepad++, which is a very good program for uh, editing these files. Recommended highly. I'll provide a link to that down below. And uh, here it is, what it looks like when opened up. And this is just the localization file of the game. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep the L English up there, and then just delete all of this. Boom. Gone. <laughs> and put a space in there. So we got the first file done. Almost. Uh, now we need to throw in the descriptors in here. And uh, let me get my proper files open here. Where did I put it? There. So we, we did these in the other video, in the star, uh, custom starting system. Uh, and we called them uh, the children of the engine system initializer name and the name and then the description for that. And that's all you need in the localization file. If you use different English, uh, language than the English, you want to change this to something else. And I'm just going to save this file here. And then we're going to close this. Boop. And what we want to do in here is uh, not use the L English because uh, that's the default file for that. And we don't want to overwrite that because uh, if you overwrite that, it's gonna mean uh, pretty much that uh, you uh, overwrite all the localization information from the game and your game will look really strange with all the descriptions and everything gone and missing. And let me grab another file here. So I'm just gonna call this the L English uh, Children Agent. YML. So no no differences in there at all. And it should be final, just like that. And then we need to do the uh, solar system initializer file for our <laughs> our happy uh, starting system. So we are just gonna open up the notepad again. You shouldn't probably have to close it, just keep it open there. And uh, in here, you need to uh, create the solar system information. And we did that in the other uh, video again. So we can just uh, copy paste that into here. Boom. It's a bit longer thing in there. So children of the engine and the system initializer and all that information there. And then just uh, go and save the file, save as, and we need to go here, find your uh, documents, Paradox Interactive, Stellaris, uh, mod, Children of the Ancient, Common, Solar System Initializer, and we'll call this uh, Children Ancient System Initializer.txt. They're just text files, and boom, save it there. And now it should show up here as well. And that's all the two files we needed to make this mod. So we're done with that. Let me throw this away and throw that away. Also, queue up the next song. And there we go. So, next thing we want to go again is we want to close the Stellaris and we want to open up the Stellaris again. And we jump here. And here's the Stellaris again. Now, when you click the mods, here is my uh, Children of the Engines available. And you can enable and close the mod, uh, mods you want to use in the game this way. And we want to jump into the game and see that our uh, mod actually works properly. So I'm going to open up here uh, 
Castellaris, which I need to actually capture. And there we go. So there's, there's Stellaris. Then we go, new game. Create new. And we'll check the home world here. Children of the Ancients works just fine. And we can actually... Well, we know it works just fine. As long as this works, we know that it works fine. And we tested it previously in the other video. So we don't need to do anything else in here. Just close that. Close the game. Now that we know it's working just fine. And let me pop up again. The Stellaris launcher. And now we are ready. Now we know that we have this game here. It's actually capturing really badly. Let me close that. That will work better for you guys. So uh, now we have the directory. We've created the mod in the mod creation here. And we've filled out the files and done everything. We've made sure it works in the game. So we are now ready to launch our mod. So upload a, a mod button here. And you wanna select which mod you wanna upload in there. So this is my Children of the Ancients. And uh, this is the name, path, version of supported. Mod ID, it doesn't have any because it hasn't been uploaded yet. And if you wanna update the mod, so if I wanted to just upload this to the mod, uh, Steam now, I could just click the upload here. If you want to update your mod, click the fetch info first. Well, it doesn't exist at the moment, but you would uh, fetch this info and then upload if you update your mod. So we'll just uh, upload this to the Steam now. And it's gonna take a moment as it uh, gets uploaded onto Steam. And mod uploaded okay. <laughs> not, not properly or anything, just okay. And next what we want to do is pop to Steam. So, here's my Steam window. And uh, what we want to do here is uh, go to the Stellaris uh, workshop. And here you can click Files you've posted. And there we go. Children of the Engines Stellaris. You can click the information here and you can edit this. Edit the title, description, add images and videos and generally tell what this mode is about. So for example, just edit the title here. Well, the title is fine. And description is uh, add a custom uh, start uh, starting system to the game called uh, Children of the Ancients. That is a broken ring world around a black hole. Uh, left uh, over from an ancient, uh, highly advanced civilization. Your race used to be one of their uh, pets in a uh, ring world zoo section, and now it is. Your turn to reach for the stars. Well, there, are, there is a simple description for the mod. Just save that. And let's go back to the item. And now the information shows here. You probably want to have a bit more description in there. And uh, we could upload a picture, which I don't have at the moment. And there we go. So there is your mod uh, now in Steam Workshop available for friends and whoever to download. And that's it. If you have any questions, uh, any specifics about this, let me know. I'll try to help. And if you have any more uh, ideas what kind of modding you would like to see, I can try to help on that as well and make some videos. And uh, check out my other content on the YouTube channel. There's uh, lots of Let's Plays, some other guides, reviews, and other content. And also I do live streams on Nara.tv every day. So come see me there as well. And thank you for watching.